This week, the Boise Public Library is back offering limited in-person services after it had to scale back down in November due to rising COVID-19 cases. Our Ricardo Coronado spoke with the library on what you can expect at your neighborhood branch. Boise Public Library staff are excited to welcome back guests after having to reduce services in November. But we know a lot of our community, particularly youth and children and um, some of our elderly residents, they really need in-person services. And so we're just really happy that we're able to now safely reopen for the community. Visitors will be required to wear a mask and practice social distancing. Admission will be limited. Downtown library, we have uh, the ability to have about 50 people uh, safely. We have, we're, we're keeping track of that so you don't have to. And then depending on our location, it, you know, in our branches, it's usually between 10 and 15 just because those are smaller locations. So physical uh, distancing means that we unfortunately can have fewer people in the building. Computer use policies vary by branch, but users will be kept at 45 minutes per day. Curbside services have helped bridge the gap during the closures. Those will still be available, but now during a narrow window of time, you can also browse books and other media in person. It's really nice to be able to actually come in and look at the books. Uh, I've, I've been requesting books for a while online now and it's nice to actually come in and just kind of peruse and, and find something that I'm a little more interested in than just actually, you know, be able to pick up the book and look at it and, and see what it's about. The main library will offer in-person browsing Monday through Friday from 2 to 6 p.m. Browsing at neighborhood branches is only available on Wednesdays. Staff say it's been an honor to safely serve guests during the pandemic. Particularly the um, computer labs and how we saw people using them to apply for jobs, to um, look for housing, to fill out tax or employment information. And we know how critical it is for people to have access. Ricardo Coronado, Idaho News 6.